Hello and welcome to GoGeekGo.com. In this video, you will learn how simple it is to create a lookup transformation. So why do we use lookup transformation? Mainly lookup transformation in Informatica is used to get the related values and we will see an example. Also, I have seen most often you can use lookup transformation to find insert or update dates for a target also in lookup transformation you can cache the data which means when a source row comes it can directly match on the cached data versus going to the database or to the actual file so in most cases it can give you better performance but in some cases it can be a bottleneck as well also lookup transformation can be used on flat files or on database tables so all right we are all set to create our power center mapping with lookup transformation in it and also the router transformation in it first I will give a name to my mapping some relevant name then I need to get the source for my mapping by the way what we would be doing in this mapping is loading data from a source file into a target database oracle table and we will use a lookup transformation in between to check whether the data already exist in target or not you can use some part of this mapping as your type 1 mapping which is the type 1 slowly changing dimension table you might look up on Google what is slowly changing dimension table but I will cover slowly changing dimension tables in my other video so this is my source now to get my target I need to go to target designer go to target and import from database again you go to target designer targets import from database if this thing looks new to you I would recommend to go to my prior videos and check how to get the sources and target so I have already saved in my information to connect to the Oracle database I'll hit connect and I'll get the relevant table which is customer staging in this case hit save now I will get this target table into my mapping and I can simply close that to increase the working space as a best practice I will get in an expression transformation in after expression transformation I can get my lookup transformation which is right here or as I have shown in my previous videos you can also create a lookup transformation from here give a relevant name and hit create in this case you can get the lookup from right here otherwise you can always import it if your lookup table or your lookup flat file is not there so this will create your lookup transformation like this now in order to use lookup transformation you need to pass a field from your source into your lookup transformation on which the lookup can match on so that will be your lookup condition in this case my condition is customer ID from source needs to match on customer ID in lookup so this customer ID will actually find whether there are matches or not so what this lookup will do is think of it this way that this lookup is your target which is nothing but here so if the column customer ID which is coming from source already exist in lookup then it will match it here and if it match it here then we will create a new transformation here something a filter or router to find out whether the customer ID or any other column from this lookup is null or not so if it matches then it will not be null if it doesn't match then it will be null so let's check that first you need to specify the condition to specify the condition hit on this particular box here so it will say customer ID equal to customer ID you can choose any column you want from your lookup 
in this case it is customer id hit apply by the way for lookup you can use either lookup connected transformation or unconnected lookup transformation i would highly recommend to always use connected transformation whenever possible there are some use cases when unconnected transformation is preferable to use and i will cover those in my future videos one thing with unconnected lookup transformation is that you need to go inside your expression transformation to see where the unconnected lookup transformation has been called in case of connected you can easily see within the mapping without going into any transformation you can find out where your lookup transformation is which column it is getting matched on and what are the fields you are getting out from your lookup transformation so from maintainability and from readability perspective unconnected lookup transformation is not that good to use whereas connected lookup transformation is much better to use now i will get another transformation i will use router transformation i could have used a filter transformation as well so with this mapping you will get familiar with router transformation as well which is kind of filter transformation but it's much more than filter transformation so we will see what router does so first what i will do is i will get all my columns from my source also i will get a column from my lookup i can get actually any column from my lookup but let me just get the customer id itself and i will rename it right here just to avoid any confusion that this comes from my lookup or sometimes if your lookup is your target you can always say target in router transformation what you need to do is you can specify groups so a router transformation routes your data based on the conditions so let me give you an example here add a group and I will say inserts so in this group only the inserted data will be passed based on the the condition on this particular target column so what I will check is if the target customer ID is null pass only that data in this group so my inserts will be these now let's go back and look at it and try to understand that it is actually very simple so what's happening here is data is coming from source it's going into a lookup transformation this customer ID and I'm trying to match on customer ID and if my customer ID is matched to any of the row in my target table it will pass a value from this column so if that is null it means I did not find a match on this customer ID which is coming from source onto my lookup and that is the case for insert so if I don't find a match then I need to go and insert the data into my target table so let's say I will simply simply insert that data whatever I need to insert so I will simply insert few columns here just to showcase the use of mainly lookup transformation and the router transformation as well so now let me also show you one more thing here so I can also create another group let's say updates let's say I always want to update my target data if the data already exist in my target table so what I will do is I will simply reverse the insert condition so what I will say is if customer ID which is coming from my lookup is not null it means I found a match and whenever I found a match then what I want to do is I wanted to update that into my target table now the update strategy and the update are different topics which I will cover in my other videos but here just to show the router functionality I have created this group and you will also notice that there is a default group which gets created which is nothing but whatever is left out so there will be some rows going into insert there will be some rows going into update but if there are any rows which does not belong to insert or update those will go to default group in this case it will not be the case because 
because if you look at these conditions either that will be true or this will be true so your source rows will be either in insert group or in update group but there can be cases when there are some rows which are not getting satisfied for either of the group then those will go into default group so mainly router routes your data based on your condition so now this mapping is ready also for performance perspective you can always delete the ports which you don't want in this case we have all these ports and I can delete them before I delete that I would also say to my point that we can always get a related value so in case let's say from my source I'm not getting zip in this case I'm not actually getting zip and if I find a match then I can simply take the same zip from my lookup table so if there are any columns in your lookup table which, which you need in your target table you can always get that so this is what I mean by get the related values so you will relate your lookup based on your source on customer ID but you can get any other fields from this lookup which you might want to load in your target and those fields which are not coming from your source so this is what I meant by get related values so now this mapping is ready so I can generate workflow from here but I know that I would need the target connection for my target table and also my lookup table so why don't I do that first hit the workflow manager also I will open my workflow monitor right now double click on the integration service so now let's go back so go to connections go to relational connections and hit new and this is an Oracle connection and this is the tutorial one I will just say tute and my username is let's copy my username and password is this hit ok so now I have actually just showed you how to create a connection I will repeat go to connections relational hit new and now you choose whatever connection you want to choose and give the appropriate names and also the user ID and password you can always rewind my video and see how I created this connection but more importantly now let's go back and generate the work hit next tude is only relational connection I have it has picked up that so hit next finish now let's go to the workflow manager disconnect the folder and connect it again and we should see our new workflow here now let's open that workflow because I wanted to specify where my source file is so my source file location is this okay so looks like I should be all set now and now let's run that Start workflow let's go back to the monitor and see what's happening here so it has succeeded it loaded all the rows the reason why it loaded because my target table was empty now let's check it should have data now so if you look at it we have all the data in our target table now let's run that mapping again to test whether our inserts are working or not one more thing which I should do is in my workflow manager so the bulk for target is usually used when you don't have indexes on your target table in this case I don't so I can use bulk and bulk is usually faster way of loading data and I will remove delete option because I don't want to delete or truncate data before I load it because if I do that then it will always insert so let's check the stats again so if you look at it it read 1999 rows from my source and it loaded the same number of rows into my target now let's run this again and see what happens so if you look at that it read 1999 rows from my source but it loaded zero rows and the reason is because in my lookup I am matching based on my customer ID and then my router is only routing that data which is not in my target so if you look at my insert condition again I'm saying if my customer ID is null then only you pass the data to target otherwise do not pass it so what's happening here is let's go through this row and make sense out of our mapping so this row which ends with 102 is coming from source 
from my mapping it's coming from source so informatica always processes data row by row so this row which ends with 102 customer id comes goes to expression goes to lookup and now 102 is here and so 102 will also be here in my target table because this is nothing but my target table and it will say hey whether 102 row exists in my target and it will match on the customer id and it say yes 102 does exist and if it does exist it means this id will not be null so it means it will actually go to my update group because it's not now and there will be nothing in my insert group so that's why it did not load any data into my target so this completes this particular video and in our next tutorial we would be covering more informatica power center transformations thanks for watching this video and do check out our website goldgeekhole.com for more easy to learn videos by now